Hello friends, today we will discuss about emergency exit. It's design consideration. Design is very, very important because there are so many things that we must consider while designing an emergency exit route. For example, what is the maximum height of an emergency exit ceiling? What is the ceiling limit? What is the maximum width of an emergency exit route? What is the maximum width? So what is the length of two emergency exit? What is the distance between the two? How many emergency doors should be there or how many emergency exits should be there in a workplace? These are all based upon design consideration. This is very, very important. This is usually asked in an interview. Apart from interview, a safety person how many emergency door hona chahiye? Emergency exit ka width kitna hota hai? What is the maximum height? Then what are all the other design factors? Yes, sab kuch ek safety professionals ko jana chahiye. So we will discuss about all these things in this video. Please subscribe to this channel and also please listen to this video till the end. So emergencies, we will discuss one by one. Okay. So emergency exit ka first, first clause hai, permanent installation. See emergency exit should be, emergency road should be made by must be permanent fixtures within the workplace. Emergency exit actually, emergency route actually permanent structures. Hote. They are not temporary structures. So why these are made of permanent materials or permanent building materials? Because emergency exit routes should be always permanent, not like temporary. No, it's not like that. Always it is permanent. Roads are permanent. Doors are permanent. Emergency exit area is permanent. Okay. So why it is made permanent? Because people should be familiar. That is very important. People should be reliable because during emergency, poor of stressful right? They are actually confusion. A lot of things should be there. So they during the stress, during the emergency, they will understand that this is a permanent route and I will go through this road because they will be having familiarity. Dusra thing. See, emergency material, building materials, emergency routes are made up of the building materials which are actually fire resistant. Fire ko withstand hona chahiye. So that is why permanent installation se bana hai. Okay. Now exit discharge. Exit discharge must lead directly outside or to a designated area. Okay. Accommodating the expected building occupants. See, this is an emergency route. This is the emergency door. Bahar jo master point the master point aata hai, assembly point aata hai, that assembly point should actually should actually see the emergency route should lead to the master point or designated uh, designated area that is known as master point or uh, assembly point so assembly point mein sara people ko accompany karna chahiye. they should be having the capacity to actually Take all the people who are inside the room. It should be always actually bigger than what is there inside. Okay. Then exit stair interruption. This is very important. Exit stair beyond the exit discharge level must be interrupted by doors or partition indicating the direction of the discharge. See, what does it, this, this mean? Exit discharge. If, they go exit, if uh, stairs are coming, they go emergency root may other stairs are right. okay emergency route may see this is an emergency route okay people are coming from here and if there is a stair here okay then it should have doors or partition so emergency jo exit route may other stairs are right. it should have doors it doors to partition hona chahiye. so that what see this is actually recommended in building code building code may clearly bata hai. see when there is an stairs okay emergency uh, exit route may have stairs are right? there should be a door in that why it is there why there is door because people should understand there should be a barrication directly are right? either kuch door nahi and directly it is leading to a step panic condition a stressful situation people will not see that step so that is why there should be a door here okay this is very very important consideration designing aspect and all this is very very important consideration okay then next point Unlocked exit doors. Exit doors must remain, must be unlocked from inside and free of devices or alarms restricting use in case of failure. This is very, very important. Okay. Emergency door, emergency exit door, Hamesha unlocked condition. Mein hona it should be always in unlocked condition. See why this should be in unlocked condition? Why always you all know, we all know that emergency exit doors must be unlocked from inside. But why? Why? Simple reason because for rapid evacuation, there is no time to open the door, to use the key, then go for the key. There is no time for that. We have to avoid delays at all costs during emergency and it should be operational at all time. All time operational 
के लिए बता रहे हैं दिस इज द कॉमन सेंस बट बिल्डिंग कोड इज रिकमेंडिंग दिस आई एम नॉट रिकमेंडिंग यू आर नॉट रिकमेंडिंग ओवरशा इज रिकमेंडिंग एंड ऑल्सो द बिल्डिंग कोड दैट इज वाई अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन ऑल द प्रोजेक्ट यूल बी सेम यूल बी सींग ऑल द सेम थिंग्स ओके देन सी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट साइड हिंज एक्सिट डोर्स देखो साइड हिंज एक्सिट डोर्स दिज आर ऑल वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स ओके इट शुड बी स्विंगिंग out toward in the direction of exit travel okay side hinged exit door must be used for rooms with over 50 occupants or in high hazard areas it should be swinging out in the direction of exit travel see bahar ja raha hai this taraf we are going in this taraf exit route so this door should be swinging out toward bahar jo hona chahiye it should be swinging out toward this is very important in the direction of exit travel this is the exit travel it should be swinging out toward okay so this is you are going in this way exit door should be swinging out toward not inward okay because why it's common sense actually because see, smoother operation hoga okay more space rahenge for exit then congestion prevent karenge okay i hope you understand uh, see this is an emergency route people are going in this way so if a door is coming door kabhi andar open wala door nahi rakhenge bahar open wala door rakhenge it should be swinging out in the direction of exit travel okay Also, building code is saying. Now, occupant load support. Now, what is this occupant load support? See, they go exit route must support the maximum permitted occupant load for each floor without decreasing the capacity in the direction of travel. So, what does this mean? Simple. They go building code. The building banata hai. There is a building code. So, building code specify maximum number of occupants in a room. A room me kitan occupants ko. सेफली कितने ऑक्यूपेंट्स को रख सकते हैं देर इज अ कोड फॉर दैट ओके सो दैट पर्टिकुलर केस एक फ्लोर में कितना लोग रहना चाहिए कितना लोग को ऑक्यूपाई करेंगे रहता है तो एक्सिट रूट जब बनाएंगे वेन यू आर मेकिंग द एक्सिट रूट इट शुड बी इट शुड सपोर्ट द मैक्सिमम परमिटेड ऑक्यूपेंट लोड सो दिस लोड दे शुड कंसिडर वाइड मेकिंग दिस एक्सिट रूट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट सीलिंग हाइट दिस इज वॉट आई वॉज सेंग वाइड इन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो exit root ceiling must be at least 7 feet at least minimum height of the exit root should be 7 feet why this 7 feet because average human height is actually 5 feet okay average human height is actually 5 feet so 7 feet nahi to 6 inch high hona chahiye okay at least see because 5 feet ke zyada rahenge to agar sprinkler operation aana hai agar kuch tools leke aana hai so that is why Ceiling height should be at least seven feet. Exit rope ceiling height should be at least seven feet. Okay. Then building code also specifies there. Okay. Then um, then minimum exit width. This is also very important. Minimum exit width should be at least at least that means minimum it should be twenty eight inch exit ka width jo hona chahiye. It should be at least twenty eight inches at all the point. Huh? Not like this. Either I angle, either bada angle. इधर कम हो जाएंगे नॉट लाइक दिस ऑल द पॉइंट्स इट शुड बी मेंटेनिंग सी कैन बी बिगर देन 28 इंच नो प्रॉब्लम बट एट लीस्ट ट्वेंटी एट इंच होना चाहिए एटलीस्ट ओके नॉट लाइक दिस कमिंग टेपरिंग हियर नो सेम विथ होना चाहिए इट कैन इंक्रीज देन दिस बट नॉट लेसर देन 28 एट इंच वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एक्सिट एक्सिट एस एस मस्ट बी एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी एट इंच विथ एट ऑल पॉइंट सी दिस लाइक दिस ट्वेंटी एट इंच ऑल पॉइंट इट शुड बी 28. It can be bigger than 28, no problem. Okay, but it should be at least 28. With exit and discharge, with equal to or greater than the exit access. See, exit access should be exit access means the master point or assembly point. Assembly point also should be equal to or greater than 28. Okay, then obstruction free exit होना चाहिए. There should be no obstructions in the exit. Okay, that is also very very important. now how many exit route this is very very important thing how many exit route this whole video is important exit route workplace must have minimum of two exit routes see this is minimum number it can be more than that no problem on that but minimum a workplace should have minimum two exit route for prompt evacuation now additional exits depends upon how many people are working size of the company size of the people working arrangements all those things depends okay now what is the distance exit route distance should be located as far apart as practical to ensure an alternative in case of blockage so exit route should be located as far okay as far okay that is the thumb rule in that okay now 
if the workplace allow all employees to evacuate safely one exit route may be permitted okay this is under under uh, this one exception case okay but in all case it should be two exit route minimum two then factors such as building size or okay, these all these things uh, actually considerations under considerations uh, while designing the exit route so minimum two exit route is required okay two is minimum number then uh, all those things which we described in the above 28 inch should be the width at all points and then seven feet or six inch height should be the exit uh, routes maximum minimum height okay then uh, Door should be swinging out in all direction, in the direction of exit travel. This is very important. Okay, it should be swinging out toward. It should be locked, unlocked from inside at all the time. It should be never locked. So you also understood why we should never lock it. And also any devices we should not use, like alarms, any devices. Okay, it should be free from all the devices. It should not be having any devices because exit route should be always free. Okay, then... Uh, we should be always made up of permanent fixtures, which is actually fire with barrel. Okay. Then always it should lead outside, outside to a designated area, which is usually a master point. Okay. Thank you for today. And we will meet in the next video. Thank you.